Okay, this is an incredibly fast way to stack hundreds of thousands of gold whilst also flying up levels at a surprisingly quick rate. There's no real requirements here, so just follow along at whatever stage you're at. So step one, get yourself over to Vernworth, jump on the Westgate ox cart, which will take you to Checkpoint Rest Town. Step two, okay, now you're staring at Checkpoint Rest Town, just spin around and start heading this way. I'll walk you through exactly where you'll need to go and I'll speed it up a bit, but not too much so that you can't see what the hell is going on. So you'll want to head down the hill, avoiding all of the boulders and rock saurians because these guys hit like a truck. As you can see here, I get taken out by one and almost lose half of my health. So just keep heading down and follow the path to the right. This one leads through a forest and past a campfire. Also, if I spin around too much, just keep an eye on the mini map. That should help you get an idea of what's going on. So once you get to this ballista, you will notice there's a dragon down there on the right. So just keep heading east and keep to the left as much as possible. You don't want to aggro the dragon. Eventually you can take a left and then just follow the path up to this castle. Once you get in the castle, just take a left and head up the spiral stairs that lead to a ladder and obviously head up the ladder. Once you're up, just head east along this area and there will be another ladder on your left. Head up and you'll see some stone steps leading to a little castle. Now, if this is your first time here, you will come across a sleeping Cyclops, but of course you can just run past him. At the back and to the left over here, there is another ladder, so head on up. Once you get up here, you'll find the entrance to World's End Cavern. Obviously, with this being sped up a little and it not being very well lit, you might get turned around a bit. So if you're trying to follow my exact directions, just keep an eye on that mini map. So after you've taken out the bandits, keep moving through following my route. There is a stone wall that you'll need to knock down at some point. So if you see me turn down a path that is blocked for you, just give it a smack and you're all good. Now just run through avoiding all the annoying ghost enemies until you finally get outside. Step three, okay, we're here and we can begin the farm. A golem will rise up on your right. So just take it out by hitting the blue marks that appear on its body. So maybe make sure that you've got some pawns that do physical damage here and then things will go a lot smoother because magic doesn't do much to golems. As you chip away at this enemy, you'll notice that it keeps dropping items. These items will be one of three valuable things, two different types of ore and magic medals. So be sure to pick all of them up as the golem drops them. And then when you finally drop the golem, you'll be able to loot his body for additional ore and magic medals. Okay, step four. Now that you've rinsed the big stone boy, it's time to follow my steps through this very short tunnel here. And then from the other side, just head in this direction to a campsite. Now just sleep until morning and then go back the way you came and do the fight again. So side note here, up those steps there is where the start of the Sphinx quest is. And if you are interested in getting all the way through that without messing up any of her riddles, I'll link my video on it at the end of this video and in the comments. Now go slap that golem around multiple times. Just don't forget to pick up those items. Another side note here, sometimes very rarely, the golem won't spawn back in for some reason. I found that saving and returning to the title menu and coming back will sort that issue. 
Step five, once you're happy with your haul of medals and ore, you can head out to go find a merchant. I like to pop a port crystal down in the area just so I don't have to mess around with the slow slog of traveling here on foot. You know, unless I'm making a video about it, then I kind of have to. So just head out on foot or use a fairy stone and go sell your items. The copper ore sells for 100 gold each. The dappled ore sells for 600 gold each. And the magic medals sell for 1,200 gold each. So all of this is going to add up quite fast. Then if you want to get back fast, you can obviously use the port crystal you left behind. And if you need fairy stones, you can buy one from most traders with this symbol. They'll sell you one for 10k, then just go to sleep until morning for three days in a row. And then you can come back and buy another fairy stone. You'll be making so much money here that it really doesn't matter. So I hope this helps. Go check out my Sphinx guide if you want to finish it without missing any of the incredible loot. And of course, thanks for watching.